Today we're taking a look at the four most affordable areas in coastal Delaware. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Living in Coastal Delaware. I'm Matt London, your host and your favorite YouTubing real estate agent here in Delaware. Uh, in discussion with some of you over the last few weeks, I've found that there is currently a little bit larger concern of affordability than we saw earlier in 2022. Obviously the cost of everything around us has been getting more expensive, uh, the rise of interest rates. So home buyers are just appealing or starting to you know, appear more budget conscious when looking for areas that they can be uh, in coastal Delaware. I understand a lot of you still wanna be close to the beaches. However, that you know, more affordable lifestyle is on the forefront of your mind. So I just wanted to bring you guys the areas where we're seeing the friendliest home prices or most affordable home prices and are still within about a 30 minute or so drive to the beaches. For those of you that are just tuning into my videos for the first time, I help people just like you relocate to Delaware each and every day. And I also put out content discussing coastal Delaware and coastal Delaware real estate. So if you are interested in relocating to the first state or you're looking to make a purchase down here, or you're just wanting to learn some more about coastal Delaware in the event that it may be right for you somewhere, sometime down the road in the future, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button down below so you can stay in the loop each week when we go live with a new video. Um, it really helps us out here on the channel. Now let's get back to it. So you may have seen some of my videos about Rehoboth Beach, Lewis, Bethany Beach, and a few others. Um, and while all those areas are fantastic places to live, they also come with a not so fantastic price tag at times, um, just because of their popularity and proximity to the beaches. So I understand not everyone can afford to live directly on the beach or in the beach communities, or maybe you don't wanna spend the money to live in those communities. So for today's video, I just wanted to take a look at the options that are a little bit more budget friendly um, for those folks. The areas that we're gonna discuss are all listed from north to south. They're all gonna be in Sussex County and they're all east of Route 113 and south of Route, Route 16, as you can he see here in the shaded area on the map. There are some areas in Delaware that are gonna be more affordable than these ones. Um, but I just wanna discuss the options that get you in decent proximity to the beaches while still giving you that more affordable lifestyle. First on the list is Georgetown. Uh, Georgetown's our county seat. It's home to all the county offices and courthouse. Um, it's got a population of about 7,400 or so folks. Um, Georgetown offers many affordable areas, both inside and outside the city limits. So if you are outside the city limits, you can pretty often get a decent sized lot for a much better average price than the other areas in coastal Delaware. Um, the average sales price in Georgetown so far in 2022 was about $300,000 and coastal Delaware as a whole is about $600,000. So you got about half of the price to live in Georgetown or in the Georgetown surrounding areas. Um, and it's great because it sits right in the middle of the county. So it's just an easy drive to go anywhere you want to go within the county. Um, it's going to be the case in all of these towns, but if you live it within the city limits of Georgetown, your property taxes will be a little bit higher than if you live outside the city limits, just because you get access to the city resources and services. Um, so just something to keep in mind. Making our way down to stop number two, we've got Millsboro. Uh, Millsboro is a decent size city. The zip code for Millsboro is quite large um, and it actually covers a couple different towns. So if you see something that's listed as Millsboro, it may not technically be in Millsboro. Um, but the average sales price in Millsboro is about $330,000 so far in 2022. Again, a little bit more than half of the $600,000 that we see across the rest of coastal Delaware. Uh, Millsboro's got a growing population. A lot of people have been choosing to move to Millsboro recently um, just because, again, there's a ton going on there and the home prices are still pretty affordable. So the, the population of Millsboro is about 7,100. Um, the area surrounding Millsboro has a great deal of options when it comes to you know, shopping and dining and that kind of stuff. Um, and as I mentioned before, if you live within the city limits, your property taxes will be higher than if you live outside the city limits. Um, so if you're looking to save a couple, a couple extra bucks or you know, looking to save as much as possible on your household expenses, being just outside the city limits is a great option because you save on your property taxes, but you're still within a very close proximity to all the stores, shopping, dining, um, that kind of stuff that are within the city limits. 
Um, there are some areas in Millsboro that you need to be on the lookout for because they still do have land leases, um, which you know, again, land lease makes it seem like the home, the home price is quite affordable. Um, but unfortunately, when you factor in the cost of that land lease, a lot of times those homes can quickly become above budget. Um, out of all the areas that we discussed today, I think Millsboro, the Millsboro zip code, I should say, likely has the most affordable options just because the size of the zip code is so massive. Um, it covers a huge area. Number three on the list is going to be Dagsboro. Uh, Dagsboro is the smallest population wise. It's only got a population of about 910, um, which is significantly smaller than the other cities that we are taking a look at today. Uh, Dagsboro does not really have much of a downtown area. They've got a few little shops down there, um, but all things considered, housing in Dagsboro still tends to trend on the more affordable side. I would say that Dagsboro is a little bit more rural, which is you know one of the major driving factors as to why the prices are what they are. The average sales price in 2022 so far in Dagsboro is about 350,000. Um, so again, a little bit more than, than half of the rest of Coastal Delaware's average of about 600,000. So still quite affordable in comparison to the rest of the area. Um, if you're looking for something with a little bit more land, you can typically find that in Dagsboro at a pretty affordable price or relatively affordable price, I should say. Um, and you're still within a short drive to the beaches. Um, from Dagsboro, you'd likely be going to the southern beaches such as Bethany and Fenwick. Um, but you get to enjoy a little bit more rural feel being a little bit set back west of where those beaches actually sit. Our final stop is going to be actually just east of Dagsboro, not south. I know I said north to south, um, but our next stop is going to be Ocean View. Uh, Ocean View is still a smaller, smaller town um, than Georgetown and Millsboro are, coming in at just around 2,750 residents. Um, but Ocean View is great because there are many housing options to choose from, all while being just a few short miles from the beach in Bethany. Um, there's not a ton of options for dining and shopping in Ocean View. You do have some, uh, definitely more than you've got in Dagsboro, uh, but it's still within close proximity to everything in Bethany. So if they don't have it in Ocean View, likely they've got it in Bethany. Um, and you have, again, the, the benefit of being close to Bethany. You get to take advantage of everything that Bethany has, but you get the affordability of not actually being in the beach town uh, of Bethany. So you do get a little bit more affordability while being close to everything that the beach town has to offer. Um, the average home sales price in Ocean View this year is about $461,000. Um, again, still significantly less than the $600,000 average that we see across all of coastal Delaware. Obviously, being affordable means something a little bit different to everyone. So while some of you may find that one price is affordable, uh, another sees that is too expensive or not affordable. Um, so these are the areas that we just find to be the most budget friendly within the beach areas. Um, if you have specific questions about your particular situation, or if you're looking to make a purchase here in Delaware or relocate to coastal Delaware, I would love the opportunity to work with you. So down in the description, you'll find a form that'll take you to, or you'll find a link, I should say, to a form that will take you to our website. You can fill out with your contact information and just some details and someone from my team will be in contact. And all my information is right here on the screen if you prefer to reach out to me directly. Um, I hope to hear from you guys. If you have watched this far into the video, I certainly appreciate it. And you obviously rock with me a little bit or you find the, con the content a little bit interesting. Um, so if you could do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below as that really helps us out here on the channel and smash that notification bell so that you can stay in the loop each week when we go live with new content discussing all things Coastal Delaware. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Peace.